Hello and welcome back to the crickets. It's me, your friend, me, and who are you again? Uh, me. Yes, that's it. You there? I remember your face. Yes, you remember me. <laughs> We're back again. Oh Hi, my me. god. Did you think we'd be coming back for a second one post-pandemic? No. I say post-pandemic, but you know what I mean. Yes. We're allowed to see each other. I know. Pandemic I can't believe is still going on, you're, you're in the same room as me. Yep, it's weird. Yeah, we should have a mask on, technically. Yep. Well, we're all vaxxed. vaxxed yeah, we are vaxxed. vaxxed. I've got my, my triple vax. Vaxxed and waxed? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> you'd probably be more waxed than I would. No, you'd think that, but no. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> yeah, moving, true. moving swiftly on. I have had my back waxed. Have you really? Yes. What, recently? No, not recently. Oh, One time. Why? No, actually, I've done it twice. I, I don't know why. I, I guess I felt I had a hairy back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and now you've what, come to terms with it? Yeah, that's, I have actually. That's good. I haven't bothered. I probably should go again. Okay. No. No. Okay. Don't. No more waxing. Okay. It's, it's unfeminist. Money. <laughs> yes. What are we cricketing today? Well, what have you made me watch just recently? Oh, it's that I was resistant to at first. But I know. Now. Yeah, you were really resistant. I look, I don't like eighties fashion. Really? Yes. Yeah, me either. Yeah. So, but, but spoiler alert: the show we watched is Frayed. The ABC. Yes. Series I guess frayed. we should tell people what it is. Yes. So that when we're talking about it, they know. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Frayed. Frayed. We're going to talk all about Frayed, season one and two. So if you haven't seen it, don't watch this podcast. <laughs> if you have. I was going to say, yeah, go out and see it. Yeah. But you're saying don't watch it. I'm saying come back when you're done oh, watching it because yeah, it's going to be spoilerific. And it's a yes. type of show that you really don't want spoiled. So please no. watch it and come back. It was a really good show. It was great. Wasn't it? I really pushed through the. Just my aversion to eighties fashion. I know because you got to get past that. But in yeah. a way, it kind of adds to the adds oh, to yeah. the show, doesn't it? Definitely. I did some break dancing in the eighties. Did you? And I wore. I was just thinking about what I wore. When you're talking about clothes. We actually yeah. made our own our own break dancing suits. <laughs> they had flares coming out. I'm cutting there. all this out. <laughs> oh no, that was fun. No, yeah. yeah. Sorry. No, okay. Go ahead. The main character said, "What is her name again?" Sammy. Sammy. She's called Simone in England and Sam, Sammy. That's right. In Australia. That's right. Yeah. Simone. <laughs> yes. That's right. Yeah. That's right. She has two separate names. Yeah. Yes. Her hair, man. I just can't can't be doing with her. No, 80s I know. Hair. It's amazing hair. It's just it's just a classic. So we should probably give a bit of a rundown yeah. of, of sort of the, the synopsis of the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's an Aussie. Oh, you can't say bogan. Could you say Bogan? She yeah. would have been originally a Bogan, right? Yeah, originally. I she's suppose. left she, in Newcastle. Mm. Left home. That's Newcastle, Sydney, not Newcastle, the UK. That's right. Yeah, mm. she, she ends up in the UK, marrying a very wealthy man, mm. and the show starts with her husband passing away. Yes. <laughs> and uh, and basically her having to deal with all that because her husband's mm. quite wealthy. Yeah. yeah, he's got a mansion for a house. Mm. So when I first started watching it, it seemed like it was going to be a sort of a different spin on that whole sea change vibe where the, in the first episode, yes. I don't know if you remember sea change, yeah. everything's yeah. going wrong for the main character. Mm-hmm. A similar, really similar, like um, husband unfaithful. Um, yeah. He was caught embezzling right. all this. I know. haven't watched sea change, to oh, be yeah. honest. Oh. I've got to be honest with the viewers. Oh, well, that's weird. Okay, well, yeah. moving on. Okay. That, I heard it's good. Yeah. Mm. In... In premise, mm. quite a lot of similarities. I was thinking, but oh, does it take? Does Fred take a turn? Quite. Um, oh. <laughs> is it the end of season one? Yes. That where the thing happens. Yes. So when the death happens, the killing. The killing. Well, more it was of like accident. a killing. It was, it was an accidental yeah. killing. Yeah. 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 But you could argue it was an accident. It was, uh, yeah. Oh certainly. no, it was an accident, wasn't it? it was, yeah, it was certainly there was an some, accident. He, there was some. The guy he comes over and basically tries to grab the gun off them and that's that right. sets it off. Yes. So, in a way, it was his fault. So, mm. he's a policeman who's the father of one of the girls mm. um, who is essentially abused yeah. by him, by her father. Yeah. Sexually abused, we're assuming. Because um, we don't actually know. We, you don't really see it. 
We don't. There's no hint towards it other than she's being abused. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I got the sexual vibe. I maybe. thought I got the sexual vibe. Oh, maybe yeah. I missed it. Maybe I mentally blocked it out. I don't um, know. Possibly, yeah. But look, anyway, regardless, yeah. that she doesn't have to be sexually abused, I guess. She's just abused. Yeah. Mm. Even uh, even though I think her mother was some some you know some sort of abuse there as well. Mm. Mm. But she, her mother's denying it and all that sort of stuff. So, so yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Did you he pick gets up? Killed. Yeah. Did you pick up early on when you first meet them? Because you meet them in episode one, that family. Yes. Did you get any sense of what that was going to develop into? No. No. But I don't you, think I did either. No, I, di- I didn't know. No. And, mm. I, and actually, I was really surprised that he was a policeman mm. with that sort of, you know, the, making him the abuser, you know? Well, yeah. I so, know. yeah. I was, uh, but yeah. I, that was just like, oh, wow, he's a copper. And he's doing that stuff to his family. Mm. You know, it was like, oh, they've kind of <laughs> lifted it up a notch. Mm. Mm. And I guess that's why when you see what happens happen, mm. I don't know, did you feel that you you thought it was like, oh, he got his comeuppance? Or you thought, shit, why did I, they do that? Like, Yeah, I thought mainly... What did you feel like? I can understand why she, where she was coming from. Like, she did not want to leave with him and it was obviously going to be a very bad... Yes. Situation, but it was like, oh, oh no, yes. Now, now this has happened. Yes, it's going to just throw everything into turmoil. But it's just um, one of those classic yeah. themes where, you know, someone gets killed, and you mm. think, oh, he's an abuser. Why don't you just ring the police and explain all the backstory and all that sort of stuff? Yeah. <laughs> and even though he's a, pol- a cop, I guess that's what complicates it because he's a copper anyway. Yeah, yeah. And so. Yeah, but then what happens is it's like it turns into this whole thing of no, we've got to hide it, you yeah. know, and it just becomes one of those, yeah, those you know, those scenes where you just think, oh shit, it, yeah, that's the what are they going to do next, you know? It's almost unbelievable. Where I don't know, do you think that you would do that, even though he's a policeman and they were obviously there's the concern that they're not going to, that no matter what they say, they're going to basically be found guilty of murder. Even well, that, that's what makes it yeah. totally believable, right? Because you think. I don't know. What, would I would I ring the police because, or would I just bury the guy? Like <laughs> it's, uh, but you don't know what you're going to do in those circumstances, right? Yeah. I mean, like, most people probably would ring the police, or someone in the family might ring the police. Yeah. But they're like all in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah That's the surprising thing is the number of the people who know about it and are like, <laughs> yeah, it's like I want to know this. I'm not going to get involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I love how they set up, even with all the characters that come in that en- eventually end up knowing about the killing, mm. all those characters are kind of set up to think it's okay because I love you, yeah. you know, I love, or it's okay because basically it's it's love. That yeah. They're kind of... Yeah, well, they all want to protect They Lenny. want to protect, yeah, Lenny, that's right. Essentially Lenny, although I don't, I don't know how they've come to the conclusion that it's Lenny's No, fault. but they don't. That's the thing. The two people that love uh, Simone... Or mm. Sammy, yeah, because um, it's it's Christos, yeah, and her old boyfriend, yeah, which I can't remember his name now. Okay, so we have worked out that it's his name's Dan Atkins, the boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Atkins, sort of boyfriend, ex boyfriend. Well, ex boyfriend, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, and you then can, he ends so up going take, to. You can take a drink. Then yeah. he ends up going to jail. Yeah, that's right. He ends up going to jail for mm. he he became a, a basically a uh, a criminal. Mm. Didn't he? Yeah, for like burglary or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and then robbery. he and then he spent time in jail, and he basically um, rehabilitated, mm-hmm. and he became a teacher. Yeah, which point of order would that be allowed even in the eighties? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably. I don't. I reckon in the eighties it would have. Maybe in the eighties, anything's possible. Yeah. A lot of things were back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But surely you couldn't be a, have a criminal record, or at least jail time, and be a teacher. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. In Australia, anything kind of goes mm. in that way. I mean, there's a lot of things that I didn't know. Did you know there was an earthquake in Newcastle in the 80s? No. Uh, I, look, when they showed some of the footage, yeah. I so kind of, it kind of, yeah, it kind of came back a little bit thinking, mm. oh, maybe I did see something on TV. Mm. They had they had a serious, you know, some buildings come yeah, down. Yeah, it looked 
Yeah. Like there would have been deaths, like significant. I love how they intertwine that into the show, though. They intertwine that whole real life event. They had real footage and everything. Yeah. uh, Of of (laughs) the whole event coming in. And then what happens is obviously the earthquake breaks the concrete where they put the body under. (laughs) So that was was hilarious. Did you know where he was? Because for a while, no, they I didn't. Don't, I, I they didn't. Don't tell you. No, you think they threw I, him in the ocean or I something? I figured it out though. Yeah. Because I was thinking, the ocean? No. And then I was like, where they must have? It must have been hinted throughout the series where he was. Car park. Car park. Yeah. And then I knew. Yeah. But <laughs> yes. it took me a while. I it takes a while to work yeah. it out. Yeah. yeah. And, and, then, and then I was like, that's oh, what's yeah, so good about it. It's definitely yeah. the car park because that's the only other like thing that they just sort of reference. Yes. I was like, it has to be in there. Yes. And it, yeah, yeah, it is indeed the car park. Yeah. Yeah, so they end up shifting him. That's right. They, yeah, because they have to at that point. They have to because the earthquake has exposed <laughs> his body and it stinks. <laughs> God. <laughs> that whole scene. Ugh. The whole scene around the car park, so cleverly done. Yeah. Uh, very, very funny. But it was such a great idea. If it wasn't for that bloody earthquake, it yeah. would have been... <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, but mm, the, was that plausible that a... The, the car park, the car park just cracks open right really, where his body is. Not really. I mean, that's pretty far fetched. Yeah, that the was. The car a park's little... just like. I don't yeah, know. but that's what makes it funny yeah. in a sense. Who's your favourite character? Yeah. So it's between the brother Jim. Yep. And. Bev. No, not Bev. I mean, I do Bev's, like Bev. Bev's funny. <laughs> yeah. She's funny. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Jim and Bev. That's just the funniest thing. Yeah. Um, the relationship between those two. It's just. <laughs> He's just in love with her so much (laughs) that, you know, she does no wrong and she's just this person that does always something wrong, you know. Uh, And Chris, I like... I like Christos. Christos, you know, he's the... He plays the uh, Member of Parliament Mm. or the local... No, is he a local member? Yeah, he's, or? A, he's the local member or something like that. Oh, yeah. I, I, or the mayor member. or something? I don't think he's the mayor. He's uh, just like a member uh, of, anyway. of parliament. <laughs> I'm sorry, but he plays a funny guy. He's funny. Like, I thought he was really, like, he, he sort of warmed to him at the end, but at the beginning he's a real dick. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like Well, his, he softens you know. up, you know, I think during the, the, as it goes through, he's softening up for her because he's obviously... Some was it? Yeah. Was it that he always liked her at school? He always like liked that? her. Yeah, but yeah. he doesn't tell her that kind of. He's yeah. kind of like kept it under wraps. Like it's very, very dubious. Of like that stuff where they're in the hotel in in Sydney or yeah. wherever. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like yeah. paying her. To, like, yeah, paying to give him a hand job. This is going to be very hard to come back from. Like, <laughs> like I'm like a character. You know, um, but he just feeling did. positively about a character standpoint. It was so weird. It was it was silly. It was like, <laughs> yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> it's just anyway. Look, I yeah. feel sorry for him so much because he he's probably one of those guys who did love her or loved. You know, it's his childhood sort of mm. dream to have, be with her. Yeah, and then he has to pay her to give yeah. him a job. <laughs> I just thought that was classic. It was so, it was so well written. Oh, oh that was brilliant. So, yeah, brilliant. Jim and Christos are your favourites. Uh, what about you, um, Money? I I do love Bev. I yeah. have a soft spot for her. She's mm. she's great, mm. and her gigantic baby Francis. Yeah. <laughs> is clearly like a six to eight month old baby. I know. As a newborn. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Yes. Yeah. Um, Bev, Jim, I love. I really do love them all. I love Bo. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think probably Jim yeah. is my favourite. That part where um, Sammy, they're going back to England. Yes. And Sammy's saying goodbye to Jim. Yeah. And they're in the car watching them kiss. And he's like, oh, God. Yeah. And he gets back in. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no. I, thanks I, for the live sex show. Yeah. Your kids need new eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so good. Um, I do love how they, you know, the sister brotherly thing and then yeah they're adults yeah. and they fight like as if they were like back when they were 10 years old yeah and they still do that though yeah and but there's love there you can see there's love there mm. you know at certain times yeah but at the same time they just behave in this sort of you know mm. sibling rivalry yeah. thing that's yeah. going on well he must be justifiably upset if she left and like yeah complete it seems to be like it was complete radio silence like the kids say that they didn't know they had an uncle jim yeah when they get there they're like we've got oh we've got an uncle jim apparently yeah like they didn't know anything about their family, I guess? No, well, she, yeah, she totally left and left her life behind. But didn't communicate 
at all. No, not well, at, at least well, the what kids would don't. seem like not at all. Yeah, yeah. but then uh, the mum Jean seems to know about the grandkids. It's yeah. not like a total shock, but I don't know, something weird, something weird. It's like something weird happened there because we know that mm. her mother, so Sammy's mother, is, uh, I guess, a recovering alcoholic. Mm-hmm. Um, then and then, father obviously was killed. We don't know whether he committed suicide or whether, yeah, or he was drunk, accidental drowning, yeah, accidental drowning or whatever. Mm. So there's a lot of shit going on in there. Like there would have been a lot of, and I guess that's why she left. Yeah, she didn't like what was going on. Yeah, and, but um, it's still weird that she would abandon her younger brother and like not mm. want to. Is it weird though? Yeah, don't. I reckon some families are like that, but not to not to be in touch with him at all. Yeah, I, I don't know. Some people just don't. I mean, I know some people who have not even contacted the rest of their family for years and years and years. Mm. Happens. Yeah, mm. yeah, it does. It's a. It's. I mean, it's not. I don't think it's uncommon to mm. be honest. Mm. But yeah. it wasn't like they, there was a rift between them. Between the brother and sister, yeah, until, no, yeah. So I don't know. Well, I don't think there was a rift. I think it was more about her parents. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I guess that's what she wanted, though. You know, mm. did she was she really that close with Jim, her brother? Possibly not. Mm. He just mm. he's just so funny, though, isn't he? Like you know, yeah. there was that scene. I was just thinking about the scene there, where they're trying to find out, trying to find out what to do with the body, mm. and she goes, "If you got acid." And he, and he says, there's some lemon juice in the fridge. Yeah. You know, just really silly stuff like that. Like, it just, <laughs> I don't know, it just was funny. Mm. You know, he just delivers it so well. Yeah. Yeah. So with the um, cop that's trying to track them down, mm. Detective Fairbank. There's so many characters in this show, yeah. isn't there? That's yeah, just... but he's like a late, he's season two. Yeah, character. season two, yeah. Yeah. Do you think he's going to, what do you, because so, we don't know if there's a season three at this point, do we? Uh, I don't it's know a if we we don't know. I haven't read anything around the season three. Although there's a lot of people who want a season three. Yeah, yeah. They've really left it on quite the quite they have. the cliffhanger. He, what he, do you think he would do though? Who Fairbank? Because he's found he's at the point where he's like he can see what they're about to do, mm. and he's on the point of being able to catch them if he wants to. Yes. Do you think he's going to do it? Yes, I think he does it. You think he's going to? I think he catches them. them. Yeah. But something happens that he has to keep the secret as well. Yeah. I don't know how they're going to do it <laughs> because there's so many people who have kept the secret mm. that he'll end up being one of them. Mm. So for some reason, I'm mm. not sure. Maybe. Now, Maybe something to do with what's the... The secretary's... Pam? Pam, I think it is. Yeah, it is Pam. Yeah. Yeah. He's in love with her. Yeah. She's always judging him for being too critical, mm. you know, around this death. That's saying that this person was an yeah, abuser. Well, yeah, well, when they basically they figure out what's when they happened, find out, they, yeah. Well, they, I don't think they know, but they're like at that point. Well, okay, yeah. so we ha- we know they heard a gunshot. Yeah. We know that the daughter was abused. Yeah. This has obviously happened. Yeah. It was the kids. Yeah. How can you dob in the kids, etc.? That's right. That's, Pam's going. What yeah. are you doing? You yeah. can't do that. You, you, yeah. You know he deserved it. Yeah. You know. And he's like, no, justice, you know, must prevail. Yeah, yeah, whatever. but he's going to turn around. I reckon mm. he's going to do the whole. Flipperoony, and there's mm. going to be someone else that becomes righteous about it. I don't know who, but yeah. I don't know. Otherwise, it's kind of the end. If if they find out that they, if you know, if the law finds out what happened, it's kind of the end. You know, what mm. what else? What else? Where where they're going to take it? Yeah, yeah. So they have to kind of turn him around. Yeah, uh, that's my thought anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah it wouldn't be and because it's been some fun if they were all in jail, and yeah. they would all be in jail. I think. <laughs> All of them are going to jail. You can't, yeah, you can't be accessories to hiding a policeman's body and yeah. not just be like, yeah, walk it's it off. So funny. Oh dear. Anyway, look, we should uh, kind of wrap it up. What, what would you, what would you cricket it? Marnie? I would cricket it ten out of ten crickets. Mm. I loved it. I loved yeah, it. well, it was so funny. It made me laugh out loud, like properly. Yeah, I liked learning about stuff I didn't know about Australia and Newcastle and yeah, like, all this. Yeah. Like that. yeah, yeah, that historical is stuff. Not part of Sydney. Yep. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's two hours north or something, isn't know. it? I don't know. I'm That's about an hour and a half drive know. or we're, something. We're in Melbourne. We don't know. These yeah, things. we're in. Yeah, I don't mm, geography. Yeah, but she's trying to say at the start to the kids that it's basically Sydney. That's right. Yeah, it's a northern suburb yeah. of Sydney. <laughs> 
Apparently oh, not true. But yeah, I would rate it ten out of ten. What would you rate it? Oh look, I'm gonna do ten out of ten. Yeah. Now you know me. I don't I don't like what? I just couldn't fault it. Yeah. You can't fault this show. <laughs> <laughs> the acting is great in it, you know, the the storyline, the wittiness. Mm. Uh I, I, there's so many lovable characters. Yes. And they all have their own part in it. Even the kids. Yeah. The kids are lovable. Um I just, I don't know. I love it. Mm. I just absolutely love the show. Oh, it's a double 10 out of 10 Yay! for both of us. <laughs> <Ta-da>! Amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. oh, good. I really hope they do another season. Yes, let's hope for that. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah, let's wrap it up here. Thank okay. you so much for watching. Okay, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.